And we're live! Skylar Faith, what episode are we on? Episode 25, which is 25 is actually my lucky number. Oh, look at that. Anything little... with a 5 is my lucky number. Did you hear that, Mommy? No. Anything with a 5 is her lucky number. That, you just made that up. Or did you just make that up? Mm-mm. Okay. Happy uh, 25th episode. What? What's happening? How do we do 25? We just did. Um, it is, oh, come on, Randy. Tuesday? Is it Tuesday? Tuesday. April the something, 90th. Um, We are so happy to be with our beautiful Facebook community and um, elsewhere and new friends that are joining every night and people that are doing watch parties. Thanks for doing that. We appreciate it. Um, You know that I started this here in my little house in Nashville to find a way to communicate with people and say hello, check in with my friends. Um, I guess remotely, virtually, I'm not sure what the right term is, but they're not here. (laughs) There are other places. Um, Make sure they were all doing okay. Bring you some music, bring you some stories, share some information, share some laughs, have a little fun. And I didn't really think it through when I looked at Andrew, my husband, who is your cameraman tonight. Mm, And I said to him, Bing! That's a a shout out. When I um, said to him, hey, let's do a Facebook live show every night. And he was (laughs) like, okay. And then I was like, every every night, we're going to do it every night. I don't know. With the weekends off, mommy? No, no weekends off. No. No, take time off. We're very serious about this. Um, no, but it's been really great to to be with you and to connect and to hear your stories and to hear how you're doing. This is a really um, crazy and uh, insane time for everyone all over the world, and we know that. And so we're just trying to make the best of it, like I know you guys are, and we always uh, like to start the show off by saying... Um, that we know that we're, we're really lucky, we're very grateful to be in our homes and be safe and be healthy and be with one another, taking care of one another and just loving on each other and, and bringing some music and, and friendship to you. We realize that there's so many people out there that are risking their lives daily to be on the front lines serving so that people can stay home, which is the right thing to do right now. So uh, we don't take it for granted and we thank everyone that's out there doing the right thing. So how was your day, Skylar Faith? Tell me while I shared this with the good people. Good. It was uh, very good. It was mm-hmm. very good. What did you do today? Tell me what you did. Mm, I did reading and math. Mm-hmm. You did school. School is very good. School is good. good. School. I did it school. Yeah. Well, and wait, no, you had something else happen. You had a um, you had a, a, a I reading, had a reading with someone. class with my cousin Julia. Was mm-hmm. it reading class or did she just or, sort of no, like read to you? She just read a book to me. Yeah. And She's watching right now, by the way. Julia's on. Hi, Julia. Oh, hi, Lisa. Hi, Riley. Hi, Colin. Because she already that. said. I waved to her. She's Yay. on. Yay. <laughs> What's the name of the book you were reading? Uh, What's the name of the dog? Uh, Win? 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 Yeah. Win Nixie. <laughs> Okay, so we'd like to start off by telling you some things. So that's what we did today with Skylar Faith this school. Uh, it snowed in Nashville. I just That's right. Did you, what? <clears throat> Turn the volume up on that. Come again? Television. For a minute, there I thought we're on television. We're not on television. In it Nashville. snowed in Nashville. Mm-hmm. The weather here is strange. That's right. Just want to make that clear. It's very odd. We were outside enjoying the warm weather last week, so that barbecue I planned for tonight, I was not thinking we'd be having snow today, but we did. Um, so it was cold today. Um, what else did we do? Um, I taught a virtual piano lesson, which is great. Um, checked in with some people, and I've got some shout-outs. A lot of people write me things on Facebook that they want me to mention or people they want to wave to. I think it's really fun when you guys are all on and you're waving to each other. I love that. So a couple things. Um, I want to do a prayer, uh, lifting a prayer up to Alyssa's mom tonight, Trudy, who, who is now a, an angel up in heaven. And um, I've been friends with Alyssa for a long time since... Uh, elementary school and she posted this a bit ago she she watches uh sometimes she's um is a uh, a person who i know is hurting right now and we know there's a lot of loss but when i can share i will um i want to also do um a congratulations to eric and elizabeth facebook friends who um, got married this weekend so that's really amazing they, they were able to do that right not in a big wedding like you might think but they just well they well they did they were able to do it a very social socially distanced wedding I know right imagine wow. that like a small small celebration pretty much them I'll show you pictures I mean it's on Facebook um, also a sub post she doesn't know that word okay also um, I want to do a shout out to Maddie Shea former student of mine who's uh, she and her friend I think it's Gabriella are creating these fantastic bracelets. And they're sending positive words of encouragement to um, a lot of the workers, the nurses, and the doctors, and the people on the front lines, and the medical providers, and all of the people that are out there doing the work. So that's a really great thing. These are things that I saw today that I thought were really great. Um, What else? I already said we had a cookout today. I want to tell you about some of our guests before I get to my song. 
Um, we have a really uh, fun show planned for Friday. And Skylar named it. It was Fun Friday, the Fun Friday show. There's going to be a cooking segment with Mary Beth. There is going to be a cocktail segment with Andrew McGinnis. Mm -hmm. Andrew, will you be bartending or cocktailing or partaking or both? I think both. Okay. Um, and then we have some other really fun stuff lined up. Skylar Faith, you have a question. Oh, yes. hand up. Which Gabby? Yes, not a Gabby that you knew. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um, what else do I want to say? Tomorrow we are really blessed. We, um, as you know, we highlight um, some charities. Uh, I will tell you about our charity this evening in a moment. Um, and tomorrow is MSF Day. Uh, since I started this 25 episodes ago, I've been thinking about how I was going to highlight the Matthew Shepard Foundation, a very important part of my uh, life and my music career. And I knew that we wanted to um, do a day sort of centered around that music and the celebration of um, love and anti-bullying and that wonderful cause. And so tomorrow we're really lucky that um, Miss Judy Shepard is going to be our guest. So tune in if you can. You can find it here on my personal page or you can find it uh, on YouTube after the fact and also on my music page. And I think they'll be sharing it as well. So now we'll get to a little music. Look at all the people saying, hey, hey, what's up? Hi. Uh, let's see who else is in. Oh, happy birthday, Zoe. Zoe, when did you start Zoe? Happy birthday. That was yesterday, right? I think last night. Yay. Hi, Patrick. Patrick, you're going to be doing an art class with Skylar. That's fantastic. That's another thing that we do. Friends do classes with Skylar Faith. It's not so I can get out of teaching. No, it's not. It's not so I can get out of teaching or have a break or do laundry. It's because it's really nice. <laughs> she said, you know, I can hear that right. Yeah. Uh, it's so that you get your... You're learning from a lot and of well people. Rounded yeah, you're well rounded education. Individual, yeah. Okay, so um, our charity tonight is the Actors Fund. You want to hold up your fancy sign? Yeah. Supporting. Why did you just say that? Because that's. Oh, you're uh, supposed to show it mm. first. Okay, let's fix it in post. Our charity tonight. All right, tonight, take two. What is it, Skyler Faith? What is it, Sky? Actors yes. Fund, yes. And I know we've talked about this charity before, but I don't know that we've ever celebrated it. And the reason I'm doing it tonight is because um, our guests, will, who will be joining us a bit later, um, we, the last time I was in New York City, um, I was out there doing um, an event for the Actors Fund, and they support entertainers um, with lots of services, with um, healthcare services, providing uh, li living situations for them. They do really incredible things. Several artists who have been on this show have mentioned that charity, but I don't know that I've actually ever um, celebrated it. So we're celebrating that tonight um, because I was reminded of it and reminded of our friends in New York. Um, so more about that in a little bit. We always put the links below, or we try to. If we forget, I try to do a recap on my webpage, randydriscoff.com, and also here. So we try to make sure you have the links to the artists, you have the links to the charities that we're supporting, and you have all the info you need, maybe even a recipe or two. Okay, this is a song off of 365 Days. I've had a couple requests for this. I'm trying to get to all of your requests. Remember, I'm trying to relearn things that I stopped playing 10 years ago or more. Um, so this is a request. I've had a few people ask for this. It's a it's a fun song about a breakup. Fancy that. What? Randy? <laughs> song about a breakup. Here we go. So when I go, please 
put back in normal time. What was normal time? Uh, most likely, you know, a help would be playing with me. And right now, I would turn to him and I would say, hey, drum sugar. And he'd go, hey, Randy. And I'd say, um, could you maybe do a drum solo for us right now? And he would smile and he would give us one wicked drum solo. Meta. Nice to see you. How are you? It's so, so 
So let me introduce you to all of uh, my friends out there in Facebook land that might not know you. Um, this is Jan Kloss, and he is, I was just telling them that we had an opportunity to perform at the Bitter End in December. Um, he did an incredible show there, um, showcasing his fantastic voice. But I have to tell you, I knew you from the songwriters round that we did at NAMM, which was incredible, and I kind of heard you for the first time and really loved not only the way that he crafts his songwriting, but also his, his really, your pipes. I loved your pipes. And, um, and I thought, this singer's really great and I want to follow. But before I was having you on tonight, um, I'd like to do a little interview, so I was kind of reading up on you, and I had no idea the history of your music career. It's really amazing. You've had quite an amazing career doing a lot of weaving like a lot of us do before you sort of landed as this sort of like singer songwriter slash pop star that you are so so i loved reading that about you so first of all tell everyone um where you're calling from where are you where where are you calling us from tonight i am in florida wow I'm in the fort myers area in florida where i have been on lockdown i suppose yeah with my uh with my exchange student family. Wow. Yeah, so, that's my American family. Wow, okay, and so yes. I was surprised to hear that because when I was asking him if he would come and check in with us and, and be on this little show, I said, you know, um, you're in New York, right? Because I just know that that's where you live. So how I did live you- there. Right, but you are but you're not there right now, and I don't know, how do you no. feel about that? Are you, are, you, are you feeling grateful that you're not there with it being so serious right now, or are you feeling sad, or probably a little bit of both? How, how is that affecting you? Both. Yeah. You know, both. You know, I talk to my friends in New York every day, several of them. Yes. And, um, you know, planning on getting going home at, soon. Yes. You know? Um, but just kind of keeping an eye on everything and taking everything one day at a time, you know, which is, I think, all we can do at the moment. Yes. And I know you to be an artist that um, does a lot of shows. We certainly know that in, you play in New York, but I know that you tour a lot. I mean, I know you tour in Florida. I know you're all literally all over the place. How how has this affected your touring? Were you in the middle of touring when this was going on? Were you planning on going out on the road? What was the situation when everything kind of stopped? What was going on with you? Um, well, the the the, the you know the, the moment I noticed that this was going to be uh, you know furious was there was a I had a show uh, scheduled where I was singing at a big George Harrison tribute concert wow that I sing at every year and they had actually we had moved to a bigger venue we had moved to the Tilla Center on Long Island which is a two thousand seat venue and I you know the show was canceled the day before it was supposed to go on. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I actually, I didn't want it to get canceled, but, you know, I, I've been wrong and I'm, I was wrong then, I'll be wrong again, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I'm glad we did cancel it, you know, now, you know, in yeah. hindsight. I, can I just say, too, that I love that perspective. I love you being honest, because I think... Um, it's it's really hard, especially as a as a musician, as an entertainer. You work really hard on these shows. You pour every ounce of your heart and soul into your art and what you do. And it's really I, I'm so touched by you saying. I'm pouring every you're... ounce. <laughs> <laughs> well, that too. Well, that too. Yeah. Cheers. But um, but yeah, you didn't want it to cancel, but then you kind of have to finally realize that these things are happening and that we'll have to come out on the other side. You know. So I'm. Um, I know that. And then as this was happening, you've also been releasing new music. So um, yeah. So didn't you, like just during this time, a day or two ago, release a new song? Can you tell us about that and what it was? What made you decide that now is a good time to release it and how that's going? Well, uh, you know, I think we have to keep going yes. through all of this. Yes. You know, I don't, I don't believe in stopping and I, don't, I never have and I, I don't believe in stopping now. Right. So I did release a new single. It had been scheduled. It got delayed by a week, yeah. but it came out. It's doing well, and um, we're going to release a video for it in the next week or so, week or two. Uh, the video has changed. We had a totally different idea of what the music <laughs> video was going to be. We scrapped. We scrapped that completely. Sure. Sure. And um, and I'm just uh, we're just doing a, a totally different thing now. But uh, yeah, I mean, in the midst of this, I signed a new publishing deal. I released a new song, you know. Um, Good it, for it, you. Like, life doesn't stop. You know, we have to keep going, you know. Like, that's, I think, the most important thing for me through all of this is you, you just got to keep rolling along. 
I think that's I think that's great, and it's interesting. People have been writing a lot, releasing new songs. I have uh, an artist that we talk to frequently just released a full CD. She's you know she said this is what was scheduled, this is what was planned, and and I'm not gonna let that stop. The CD release is gonna be virtual, you know, but you just keep going. I think it's a really really good attitude. Well. Um, I really, I, I've loved getting to know you as a songwriter and getting to know you as a singer and um, getting to know your fans. You, he's got some incredible fans. I mean, people that really, really love him very, very much. So, um, so I want to, I want to introduce my my people to you. Would you, would you sing something for them? Tell us a little bit about about what you're choosing to sing for sure. us and do a song for them. They would love that. We would love that. All right, sure. So I, I will play the new single. Awesome. It just came out. It's called Pilot Light. And uh, it's on Spotify, Apple Music, etc. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'll just play it for you. How about that? That sounds good. Right. Didn't want to tell you no. There's no other place to go from here. From here. What a world behind my eyes. I don't want to say goodbye here. Yeah. But I did everything I could And I'm afraid you're gone to I think it's like a million and a half. You know, just a million and a half. <laughs> That's really amazing. That is, well, good for you. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. And it's great to, and I love this because, you know, I'm, I've always been an artist 
that loves to hear music in an intimate setting. I don't know if you get more intimate than your, you know, lockdown situation and our lockdown situation over a laptop, you know, through the airwaves, but it's really great to be able to hear you sort of strip down and, um, you know, I know that if we see you live, we, we'll see you with a band very, very often. I mean, do you do a lot of acoustic shows like this or do you mostly do band stuff now? Uh, well, I mean, I do both, you know, I, I, I do both, but um, I'm, I'm also doing the Facebook Live thing, but I do it on Sundays once yes. a week at 1 p.m. Good. On Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern. Good, 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 yeah. good, good. Well, yes, I'll make sure that I post all of your stuff. Uh, where And so Spotify, yes. obviously, is a good place to find you. I'll put your, yes. I'll put your links um, and any website. What's the website right now if people just want to go to find you on a website? What is your website? Janclothes.com. There you go. And yes, did you see how lovely he said it too? J-A-N-N, yes. Um, okay, so before we leave you, um, I'm going to ask you three questions every night for every guest that I've had on for 25 episodes. I ask the same three questions. So you can have fun with them. You can take them as seriously or as light as you want. So yes, so absolutely take a drink. Yes, <laughs> okay. So the first question. Um, would, yes. The first question is, um, what have you found personally has been the hardest part of this time of social isolation that, that we're in? What's been the hardest part for you? Not touching anyone. Yeah, I think that's, uh, I, I think that's a good answer. I mean, it's as simple as that, right? It's really yes. very odd, yes. Um, okay, so then if there's a flip side to that, what would you say has been the silver lining or something that you've gained that's been a good part of it, the best part to come out of, of this, if there is one? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, 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 I don't know if I should, I can say that on Facebook Live. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> I like that, though. I like the fact that we have, you're the first guest to say I'm going to pass. All right. Can we, can people want to know, can they message you privately and you'll tell them if they, if they add you as a fan? Can they? Of course. Okay. All right. You got that? What am I going to say to that? No. No, right. <laughs> okay. So you're going to get a lot of messages in your inbox tonight. Okay. So then the last question, um, what, and it's funny, when we started this, I had no idea how long I'd be doing this. I thought maybe a week, you know. I now love that you do this every day, by the yeah. way. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Well, I'm happy you're here with us. Talk to us in 25 days, right? But, um, <laughs> but you know, I, so I know that this little question I thought of could definitely change. But what, um, at this stage, what have you learned? What would you say that you've learned right now um, with what we're going through? That it's possible to survive that you have to keep it together yeah. that we have to keep going and that we can do it and that this will pass eventually it will it's going to change yes and 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 that it's possible and that we are i think our, our bodies our psyche you know is much more powerful I, th I love it. I love it. And it's a great, it's a great place to leave. I love it. It's possible. I think I'm, if you don't write that song right now, I'm going to go write that song. Um, so <laughs> it's possible and, um, and we can do it and you are doing it and I'll make sure that everyone has your info so they can check in for your live on Sunday. Be safe. And, um, you know, I hope that you get back to New York when you're ready and when you're able and that on the other side of this, we can meet again and, and sing again together because I really enjoyed doing that That's with fun. you. So, yeah. I'll see you there. I will see you there. Yeah. Take care. That's my friend. Right, bye. Bye, bye, guys. Thank you. How about that? He's pretty amazing, isn't he? Yeah. So you can find his information. Um, I'll make sure that it's posted here. Hi to everyone that jumped on tonight. So nice to see you guys. He's a great artist. We're going to keep it light and sweet tonight. Um, we have lots of stuff happening. Big show tomorrow. It's our Love is Love uh, Wednesdays with Women We Love show. That's with Miss Judy Shepard. So please join us if you can. Thursday. Skyler, do you remember what Thursday is? Throwback Thursday. Throwback Thursday. Throwback what are Thursday. we throwing it back to? The 80s. We're throwing it back to the 80s. And <laughs> wow. And just one more, just because we have one more minute. Yeah. Um, what are the 80s? Explain to, explain to the people what are the 80s. You felt, you feel like, um, like you feel like they're a... Um, they're a 200 years ago? 200 years ago. <laughs> oh, I don't. Oh. I just want you to know I Instagrammed a few people that I thought would be fun to have on. They, no one has gotten back to me yet, but that doesn't mean that they won't. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just, I'm, you know, a few artists that I might like to see on my 80s show. Skylar is horrified. She's like, how come they didn't call you back? Uh, they might, though. And then Friday we have our show where we're doing some cooking and some cocktailing. Um, it's been really great. I, I loved, um, 
I loved having my friend on today and, and hearing uh, just words of positivity. So let's hold one another tight. Let's make it a, a great evening if we can. Let's say prayers for the, the many, many people that are lost today. It was a big number uh, yesterday in New York of people that lost their lives, and we never, ever, ever forget that. Um, I, I always end with your vibe attracts your tribe, and I love my tribe. Um, and we're going to say good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. I hate to leave you, but we really must say goodbye, sweetheart, goodbye, until tomorrow. Thanks. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>